Okay, I've got some food, we're all ready to go. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice, complete, convenient place to stand. So, in anticipation of my uh, VCR coming on hopefully the 24th, but also might be the 25th, I've got this. Uh, I'm gonna get this camera, and I'm gonna get it cleaned up because it is uh, slightly sticky to the touch, a bit more sticky to the touch on the cord of it. It's a very long, tangled cord I need to get good um and we have the stupid dinky microphone as well that i actually came across a video um a videotape from 1981 on youtube where someone was actually using one of these and it had decent sound quality so i'm not sure it wasn't the exact same one but it was like a similar one of these so neat um but yeah also look what happened to my q-tips i dropped them and they exploded out so that's fun too. Um, yeah, I got clean stuff. We don't have any paper towels in the house right now, so that'll be fun. Uh, I guess I'll just use Q-tips for everything. Eh, I have a lot of Q-tips available to my usage. This is 700 and 750, and I've probably used not many of them. Like the thing is still basically full. So yeah, I'll get to work with uh, that. <laughs> it's really jiggly if you. Nice. This will be all the susceptible to the wind too, because it doesn't have the like foam filter thing on it. So that's fun. Anyway, yeah, I'm gonna get to work on cleaning. Try to clean this first because it's much smaller than the camera. Um. Yeah. Yeah. I'll put this over here. Oh wow, there's. I brought these outside, and there's already, like, condensation going on in here. But yeah, I also have hot dog buns. I'm gonna eat them before the condensation happens all too much. Yeah, that's, that's fascinating. Didn't think that would happen so quickly. Where's the one that's... There, okay. Yeah, we had some extra hot dog buns in the house, so... I'm gonna have one. Yeah, let's get down to my work surface. You can kind of see that. Yeah. Okay, I got the microphone. It has some tape residue. Yeah, you can kind of see that. It has some tape residue on it and just overall grossness. So, yeah. That'll get a clean, along with the cable on it, which is uh, less sticky than the camcorder cable, but, or camera cable. It's not a camcorder. Looks and feels like a camcorder. I don't know what it feels. It looks like a camcorder, and it's from about that era, so I keep calling it a camcorder. But nope, it's just a video camera. <sighs> yeah, man. This thing is rather disgusting. But yeah, so, it's uh, sticky, less sticky than the cable on there though, so we'll get that cleaned up. Uh, so, yeah. Yeah, this thing is nasty. I think all of this was taped together at one point, and that's why it's all like this. Let's see. Impedance, 500 ohms! <laughs> <laughs> no wonder why. I tried to plug it into, a, a, like, a another microphone into, uh, uh, output instead of an input one time to see if it would make any noise. Yeah, it didn't. Oh my goodness, 500 ohms. That's a lot. No wonder I couldn't get any sound out of the other one. <laughs> okay. Let's see, let me... Let's just see how disgusting this is. Come on. Oh, it's off. There. Maybe, like... Maybe I should put the uh, Windex not on off to get Windex out of it. Come on. Dang it. it, is it can I get all? Hold on. There we go. Now it's gone. <laughs> Okay, yeah, I can tell it turns blue in this light. 
Okay. So yeah, let's just see how how dirty this is. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> oh my goodness! So yeah, here you go. Where is it there? It is really hard to see this screen in this lighting. Uh, but yeah, no, that is already disgusting. Oh my. This will need a nice and thorough cleaning. Man. How does this end up in this condition? Yeah, that's... How have I not gotten a disease from touching this yet? Um, okay, wow. That is uh, something. Oh, wow. Re some kind of residue is coming off. It just pulled something off of there. Oh, my goodness. Okay, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. That is something. Uh, if I, how have I been holding it to where you can't even see it? <laughs> I'm going to, like, move this closer to where I'm actually working. And readjust the camera slightly. Now I'll adjust it more up like that. Okay, man. That is disgusting. Yeah, it's definitely pulling off something. Pulling off something. Jeez, man. <clears throat> okay, that is mighty, mighty gross. Okay, we're kind of getting some more of that residue off. But yeah, in this lighting, it is that residue is very visible, and like I'm definitely getting it off with this thing. I'm, it's very visible where there is and isn't. It's disgusting residue. Yeah, I don't know what this would be from. There's obvious tape residue. Um, and then there's this. This is different. This is different to residue. So I don't know what this is, but that is gross. That is really disgusting. Okay, I'm going to get the other side of this wet. And use that. Come on, get all the way down to the stem. Okay. I just realized, how am I going to clean the cords without paper towels? That might be fun. I'll probably get, like, a small, like, actual-ish towel. Here. I'll be right back with, like, a couple washcloths. somewhat of a washcloth it's not really it's like a it's like a dish towel or whatever a Christmas one because that's what I found in quick enough time so yeah there we go should be somewhat decent for uh, getting that off I'll like put some Windex on there and I'll scrub that if you can see that I'll put that closer there we go. Yeah, this is like s getting more sticky as it heats up. <laughs> it's quite sunny out here and it's heating up. <sighs> it's kind of warm now. Anyway, we also use that for getting the cable free of gross as well. So, yeah, let me uh, 
get this somewhat wet here. There we go. And I'll just rub that along there. Let's see what kind of stuff we get off. Well, it is looking a whole lot better. Oh, well, that evaporates quickly. Yeah, still not doing anything to this tape residue, though. That will either have to be, like, scraped off by hand or put in something. Okay. Well, it's better-ish. <laughs> I'll get the cable quick. Because it is uh, quite dirty. So I'm going to put a bunch of that in the middle there. And then we're just going to get the cable. And then... Just gonna across the length of it and get it clean. There's also some tape residue on this that is not budging. Oh! Cable was a tad dirty. Well, this is in the way. Cable was a tad dirty. <laughs> Oh, my hand's all sticky now, too. I'm not... This stuff smells weird. What the heck is this? I think I might go for a second pass to get more stuff off this, because this is still pretty gross feeling. Wow, that is... That is something. Yeah, that definitely had some gross on it. <clears throat> To avoid getting my hand so gross, I'm gonna try this of, I'm gonna like, just put weight on that, and I'm gonna go extra slow. I'm gonna try, yeah, you can sort of see it. <clears throat> I'm gonna try to just pull this through. Much as this is disgusting, I love working on this stuff. I love cleaning it, love working on trying to get it working. Love all the things about it. I think this middle bit feels the most clean because it's going through the easiest. does feel a lot better already. Oh, not nearly as bad. Yeah, we definitely got the most of it with that first pass. That is not nearly as bad compared to that, compared to the first time. I'm not sure if that's because I did a worse job of it or something, but I'm going to quickly try making a third pass with the original method to see if it's the method that's the problem, though. So, in the middle there. Yeah, that video I, sh I saw on YouTube of, uh, from 1981, uh, I know that was from 1981 because they said it was, it was from the January 1981, uh, CES, Consumer Electronics Show, uh, it was, uh, talking about how the C the 
new video disc from RCA was going to be released in March of that year. New CED video disc. <laughs> Absolutely fascinating. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Oh yeah, no, we definitely got most of the grime. That that go was even less um, gross than the than the second time. So yeah, I think I've gotten most of the grime off the cable. There's still a lot of like tape residue. Uh, if anyone has like some ideas on how to get that off, I'd like that because that is it's not wanting to come off. <laughs> it really isn't. Probably just has to like scratch at it. Even that's not doing much. I'm gonna try isopropyl alcohol, although I doubt it'll do anything. Maybe I shouldn't try it with this Q-tip. Oh, I did wet it and then I never used it, huh? I used it a tad. That did nothing. So that bit's like clean. Nice. So I successfully cleaned that small part of it that I just rubbed. Okay, let's see. Where's another Q-tip? Put it in there. Okay. Try getting some of this residue off. Oh, I think that actually is working. Hey, that's definitely working. Okay. Good. I'm successfully getting this tape residue off of the mic. <laughs> the plastic under here is going to be in super good condition and really nice. Uh, I'm going to have to be nice and clean when I'm done with this. Okay. Rub that on a dry part of the towel. I think I'm taking off a very, very tiny surface of the plastic. Like, I can't even feel the difference between them, but it looks slightly different. So, yeah. Yeah, it is disgusting. But it is coming off, so. Cool, I guess. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's like. If it's like I'm taking a small surface off, or it's just like dirtied because of that. Let's see. We'll see if that color comes back. It's like a weird grayish color instead of the normal black on here. Although, yeah, I think it is. It may be residue, though. Hmm, we'll see. I'm going to keep working on this for now. It's not easy to make it come off like this, but it's coming off. This is pretty, uh, I'm going pretty tough on this thing though, so I probably won't do this for the tape residue on the cable because I feel the cable is probably more fragile. Yeah, I think that it will just need cleaning afterwards because it's uh, there's like this residue on here. It's kind of really gross. Okay.
all this effort for a mic I'm probably not going to use. Or more of a mic I'm probably gonna, not going to use all that often. Because the camera has a mic built in. Oh cool, I've gotten all the like really visible residue off. I'm not sure how well you can see that, but you can compare that to before. Um, and like, yeah, it's like smooth there now. Yeah, you could really feel and see that the residue that was there. So I'm gonna quickly uh, try to clean this residue that's now here off. Yeah, I'm just scrubbing it and slowly turning it. go that is actually feeling really clean and nice in the hand this is cleaning up good and yeah that was definitely a residue that's on the surface so wow it's coming back pretty dang good there seems to be a scratch on the side but other than that it's coming back pretty good I'm I don't have like a way to more properly clean this cable yet, so. Uh, the cable is good enough for now. Uh, yeah. I can't really get the residue off there with scraping it super hard with isopropyl alcohol, uh, and mainly scraping it super hard with a Q-tip, because I feel this cable's already 43 years old. I don't think I need to, uh, uh, it's already fragile enough. I don't need to break it. Um, so yeah, microphone good for now. Now I get to work on the actual hard bit. This thing needs a really good clean. It is disgusting. This whole thing feels ri ri quite sticky to the touch. And there's more of that tape residue on it. Yeah, the viewfinder needs a clean, the actual screen itself and the magnifier. Cable definitely needs a very good clean. Absolutely disgusting. Oh, I took, I guess I took the lens cap off. Hmm. Lens cap doesn't actually seem to need all that much of a clean, although it is still dirty. Okay. Mm yeah, this needs a clean as well. I can see uh, a, like, fingerprint or something on the lens that needs clean. Uh, and also, there's something, like, sticky on this lens bit that you turn that's, like, actually very visible. Oh, man. And, of course, there's this mic that's, uh... It's something. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, oh, caution sticker at the top. Hold on. Caution, power on or power off, do not point camera into bright light. Cap lens and turn power off when camera is not in use. Yeah. With these early uh, vacuum tube cameras, you could legit damage the tube, or even completely kill off the tube if you, s if you uh, have it, if you like, point it at a uh, bright light of some kind. So yeah, be careful about that. <laughs> be careful about that. <clears throat> Because basically with these cameras, at this age, basically, uh, 
basically at this age, um, you can't find a replacement vacuum tube for this. You have to buy another camera. So, yeah, that's fun. Oh, wow. Oh, clouds went over the sun is a lot darker out here. Like, not a lot, but I can see a lot easier now. Okay. Yeah, man. Mic came out pretty good. So, yeah, now I'll work on cleaning this, which has a lot of residue on things. I'm not sure if I want to disassemble this or if I want to um, leave it assembled while I clean it, but. Yeah, I don't know. All I know is that I want it clean. Or at least clean enough where I don't feel disgusting and have to wash my hands after I touch it. So. Let's get to work. Oh, wow. <laughs> ooh, ooh, I don't know if you can see that, but that is like black. No, it's not. That looks like graphite it looks like pencil lead or pencil lead it's graphite um wow i this is supposed to be silver <laughs> it's supposed to be a silver camera oh i thought it was supposed to be gold oh that's how disgusting this thing is okay wow oh wow that is supposed to be a silver camera. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wow. Try to be careful with this sticker. I want this intact. Wow. It's supposed to be a silver camera. Ugh. I'm not sure if you can really see this on camera, but, like, where I've cleaned, it's obviously, um, like, m much more silver looking than the rest of it, which, lo like, kind of looks gold. Wow. So this is all chromed plastic, I think, then. This is all supposed to look silver. Wow, that's incredible. Yeah, I can see it looks silver in like the very crevices of it where dirt hasn't gone in. Ew, that's gross. That's really gross. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's supposed to be a silver camera, wow. I probably shouldn't rub it that, because that is actually taking off some of the silver. Oh, is this taking off the silver everywhere? I don't know, I might be taking off the silver. Oh, that's why it looks so... Oh, no! I guess that's why it looks so, um... So much, like... Graphite? No, I'm taking off the, like, silver, like, chromed finish. I don't know. What do I do now? Maybe I should just try cleaning it with Windex for now. Let's get that on here and see if that doesn't remove the silver, but still, like, cleans it. Oh, there's a hair. Hmm... Well, it did remove a lot of gunk, but I'm not sure that it's not removing some of the silver. Oh no, man. Dang. <laughs> this thing is so disgusting. I thought it was a gold-colored camera, and it's silver. 
And now I'm like removing the silver to reveal like goldish looking plastic underneath. That's incredible. Oh man. God, I won't work on those silver parts for now. Okay. Let's work on cleaning this cable <laughs> instead. It's plenty disgusting. Let's do that. The towel's like folding in on itself. <laughs> what has it done? There. Unfold. Okay. This thing is not wanting to cooperate. Just stay. Man, it keeps sticking to itself. I'm like getting buried down in there. Okay. So I need to <laughs> one untangle this cord and two get it clean. distance though you can have this a long way from your recorder if you need it to goes all the way this distance absolutely disgusting <laughs> the amount of grime on this stuff so yeah I'll uh yeah put that there for now and then let's get the towel there and then I'll put some like where that's gonna touch the cable as well on that side and then I'm just gonna hold it firmly down and I'm just gonna drag the camera slowly forward we'll see how, <laughs> how much gross comes off this thing or here, no. I'll do the other technique, but I'll, like, do that. For a convenient... It is definitely feeling a lot cleaner on the other end. I cannot wait to see what this towel looks like. Also, sorry if this video ends up looking absolutely terrible. I can't really see my laptop screen right now, so... God, whenever th th I forgot this off-brand Windex really smells like pee whenever it mixes with anything. Oh, why did I smell that? Oh, it smells horrible. But yeah, here you go. Here's the most disgusting cable ever. <laughs> Probably not ever, but oh my gosh. The cable feels a lot less sticky now. Okay, good, it is still recording. Just making sure, because sometimes it fails to the click and I don't notice, so. Yeah, wow. This whole camera is disgusting, wow. It didn't seem all that bad until I started cleaning it. <laughs> I'm gonna go for another run through uh, cleaning the cable, 
that other cable I did three times. I'm gonna do this one three times just to make sure it gets extra nice and clean. Because, oh wow, this is pure disgust. Pure disgusting. I'm gonna turn this around so I strain my other hand instead of straining the hand that's already strained. Because I was like holding on there real tight and my hand was getting kind of strained. Yeah, this already feels so much cleaner and less disgusting holding it now. And it's not, and it feels like so much freer as well. It's so much more flexible as a cable now. Man, cleaning a cable, folks, this is just pure disgusting. It's giving me an air of nicotine glaze, but I can't quite tell because it doesn't smell like it. And, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't smell like it, and it doesn't, um, uh, look like it until it's on here. Uh, like, once I've cleaned it off, then it starts really looking like a nice thick layer of nicotine glaze. I think there's a thin layer of it all along this camera. Oh, that's disgusting to think about. <sighs> Man. <laughs> Thank goodness smoking is on the decline, right? Our electronics are in such much better condition now because of it. <laughs> oh, there was a hair in my isopropyl alcohol. Oh no, it, that's a cat hair. Lovely. Wait, why did I get a Q-tip of it? No, I'm putting Windex on here to stuff off the cable anyway. I got a Q-tip of isopropyl alcohol, so I guess I'll work on cleaning some of this grossness off of the black plastic on here. Oh my! That's not even black plastic. No! That's painted too! The Q-tip turned completely black! I'm impressed, truly impressed, at this thing's disgustingness. And, like, how much it's not actually... I thought that was legitimately black plastic. Like, the other... Th the, the mic is. So why isn't this? Wow. Oh, yeah, that legit smells like ink. This thing is so loose. Man. Wow. Okay, got it. Don't clean any of the plastics on this at all, because they will, like... The coating will come off, and there will not be any kind of, uh, coating on it anymore. Got it. Got it, I won't use this extreme chemicals. <laughs> nice. <sighs> wow. That is incredible to me. parts immediately next to that wet, because that's what, those will also be touching the camera, and yeah. Man, 1980, such a futuristic time. <laughs> hey, electronics then were actually interesting and built to some quality. <laughs> Never said the outer casings were, but uh, the actual electronic bits themselves were built to some amount of actual quality. <sighs> and like electronics were actually interesting as well.
birds today. Really loud. How'd this get all tangled already? There. We looking like oh much much better good good that is barely visible on there so that means this is like good and clean i don't think i even need to do a third go at it over at the very end of the cable it's still a bit dirty because i haven't really been able to clean that very well with that method i'm gonna probably use some q-tips for that but this cable's already so much more flexible than it was. It's incredible. It feels nice now. It does not feel sticky whatsoever. This thing does not feel sticky at all. It feels like a really nice quality cable, too. I can't stop fidgeting with the screw bit on the EIAJ connector as well. stuff is absolutely fascinating to me. Okay. Need to figure out how the heck I'm supposed to clean the actual camera now. Because that's all like painted on whatever. So I can't really get the residue and stuff off. Hmm. Well, I'll, I'll get some, like, there's some very gross bits up over here on the front that I'll try to get off. Yeah. Some of this. Even Windex gets a little bit of the uh, paint stuff off. Man, that's supposed to be a shiny silver. I've really exposed it over here on the front of the camera under some like really dirty bits. That's incredible. Yeah, I'm not exactly sure how to clean this now. Let's see, I'll finish working on cleaning um, over here on the front, and then I'll work on the this like eye cup on the back for the uh, viewfinder. Well. CRT viewfinder. Also, this have this has to be the biggest CRT I've seen on a viewfinder, like that I've owned. I've seen, um, I have seen this size of CRT on many older viewfinders like this one, um, in like YouTube videos and online. But I have not seen one in person until now. Biggest viewfinder I own. No, don't use the gross side of it. Got it. Rub very, very lightly. I imagine this stuff didn't come off nearly as easily when new, but certainly coming off this easy now. Mm -hmm. Come on. There we go. Okay. Now I'm going to work on this eye cup back here. Yeah, this has like decorative lines around, all around it, and they are filled with dust, all of them. 
even on the bottom. So I'm working on uh, getting those out. And I did one, and it actually came out really good. Man. This is going to go through Q-tips really fast. Is there a way to take this, like, eye cup off? But yeah, there is. Not sure if I could really do it from here though, because those pins are pretty pushed in. I'm not sure if I can get that out. But here, let's see if there's a w if there's a way to just remove the rubber bit. I don't think there is. Yeah, no. It's it's like a really good friction fit on there. So yeah, I guess it'll just have to be like that. Hot oh, ew. Yeah, pretty decent magnifier. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, this this whole thing really needs a good cleaning. It is like all of it is just disgusting. Working on getting this like magnifier bit cleaned. Man. Yeah, all this is giving off an air of nicotine glaze to me. That's what it feels like. I don't want smearing on that though. Okay. I need like a microfiber cloth. Mm -hmm. Let's turn that over. There's some dust on this side of the magnifier. I don't want to put that much weight on that though. I need something to hold this up. <laughs> I know. I'll be right back. That's what I always do. Are you okay? Nothing, Nick. Two oven mitts.
Got two of them. Oh, whoa, were they matching? Oh, I got matching ones. Nice, I didn't realize. Man, we got a matching set of oven mitts. Nice. I'm just going to put them under there to support that end of the camcorder while I work on getting this magnifier cleaned. It looks pretty decent in here, but there is still some amount of stuff that I need to get off of there. Although that was not, that bit was not coated with nicotine glaze, thankfully. I don't know how this bit didn't get dirty, well, at least not that much dirty. Um, and I don't know how that didn't get dirty, but the face of the viewfinder CRT did. I don't know how that happened. I had the idea of using a Q-tip to uh, dry it off instead of, like a dry Q-tip, instead of uh, the towel. And that seems to be working better. Yeah. Okay, that's clean and good. Now I need to get to work on the tube itself. I don't think it has any nicotine glaze on it, but it's still quite gross. Put that under there here to hold it up. There, it's uh, holding itself up somehow, I don't know. All of this wants to fall over. I'm going to also be holding it up as I clean it, though. Mm -hmm. Get some Windex. Ooh, that fin, that fin, that wind feels very nice. <laughs> that fin wheels very nice. Mm -hmm. That's good. There we go. That's a good clean. Oh, it did have some nicotine glaze on it, or what I think is nicotine glaze anyway. I'm gonna keep rubbing that to like keep the water, on, the liquid on it, disturbed, while I grab another Q-tip to dry it off. This Q-tip leaves many less streaks than the towel, and also it's much harder to get in here with the towel. Okay, there. Much better. How's that look? That looks a whole, whole freaking lot better than it did. Oh, nice. That's good. Got a tiny speck of dust on that CRT. I can see that clear as day. Yeah, there we go. Okay. That's nice and cleaned in there. I definitely would say. Oh, man. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna clean this side bit of it because it, it's getting, it looks pretty gross over here. Just use some Windex. Yep. It's over here. Yeah, you just gotta rub very, very gently. Otherwise, the grossness will come off fine. And the paint will come off too. I don't, I don't think we want that. So, gotta go very gently. a lot better already. Yeah, I want this camera to be clean when I try to use it for, uh, uh with that VCR. 
Even though that VCR is shipping across the country, I feel very confident because uh, in it arriving fine. Because the uh, seller on Makari, in the description of their listing, said that it will be shipped to me with utmost care. Utmost. <laughs> it didn't have the whatever that's called emoji, but as they said the utmost care, and I found it really funny. But also that gives me some amount of confidence that it will be packed uh, nearly as well as this camcorder. This camcorder was packed super well when it arrived to me. Had a bunch of good packing material in it. It was very ni very nicely packed. And yeah, it certainly came fine. Both tubes in it seem to be perfectly intact. Okay, let's get to the bottom of it. I need another Q-tip for that. Will it stay? Yeah, I will. Okay. Yeah, man. Hadn't noticed the uh, switch here and until I had disassembled it, man. That switch is completely hidden in, like, all views of the camcorder. This switch right here. Bam. I think how you're supposed to use it is, like, that. Oh, yeah, and then you can reach the auto zoom as well. And then... Oh, I figured it out. Aha! That's how you're supposed to use it. Put it in front of one eye. And then you have your hand like that to get focus, uh, record on and off, and power zoom. I figured it out. I was wondering how the heck you were supposed to hold this, like an N64 controller. <laughs> There's no one way to hold it. But, ah, uh, I figured it out. Yeah, also, um, this button has a hole in it. And if you're wondering what that's for, these cameras often came with what's called a pistol grip. Basically, it's the grip from a pistol, and you pulled the trigger to start and stop your recording. It would hook into that, and there's two screw-in bits down here uh, to screw that in. And then, bam, you have a pistol grip on your camcorder. Yeah. VQLW0100. Dipped widget manufactured. Dipped widget. Widget? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, it says March 1980. Let's see, serial number. 0080066. Nice. Matsushita also owned Quasar? Man, they owned everyone. That's awesome. Okay. Yeah, I'm working on cleaning the cloth of this now. I should put my glasses back on. Maybe that's why everything looks so weird. There we go. <laughs> oh, I dropped it. Oh, and I sprayed myself. <laughs> yeah, that's what shirts are for. Okay. What's this metal supposed to look like? That looks horrible. I'm pretty sure that's supposed to be it look look nice and shiny. But it doesn't. Oh. Wow, well, that is something. Pretty sure that's supposed to look shiny. Wow. That's, that metal is not supposed to look dull. Okay. Oh, there's some cracks in this button. Hmm. That's good to know. I'll be gentle with that. Super gentle with this. As to not get any of the paint off. Or at least attempt to not get any of the paint off. Hey, please don't come outside right now, please. Okay. I'm not mad at him. I think he just forgot that I was recording. 
I uh, have been recording for quite a while. What time? What? what? An hour. I've been recording for almost exactly an hour. Cool. Well, in an hour's work, this camcorder has gotten a lot cleaner. This is pure gross. So I'll get this side now. The switches are actually not like frozen up or anything at all. Actually pretty good. This thing is gross. Oh, this Q-tip's like barely used. Get stuff off these like metal sticker plate things that indicate what switches do. Let's see. I think this thing need, needs some more uh, Windex on it because it's kind of dry feeling. Oh, I've just sprayed it. Well, it's definitely good now. That was a nice shot there. I accidentally sprayed, and it shot right into it. That's good. That's really good. I like this craze, this Quasar logo here. Kind of looks like the Atari logo at the same time period. Atari was way big and booming by 1980. Had all their way popular arcade games in 80, uh, and they had... They're not all of their way popular... I, I think you know what I mean. Had a bunch of really popular arcade games in 1980. They had their uh, VCS uh, 2600 computer system video game console that was making the rounds, selling like hotcakes. They were doing good in 1980. All this easy to get up grime I'm trying to get up. Yeah, this, overall this thing is already feeling a lot better. Yeah, I love this caution, do not remove screws. I have removed basically every screw from this entire thing. Oh. Oh, that's cool. I can clean this pot. There's a pot back here that goes from uh, blue to red or just normal. Um, to do whatever, and uh, the pot comes off, so I can clean that. That's good, because I, I was thinking, I need to clean that, that thing is disgusting. You know you're done when it gets to the stem of the Q-tip, um, because it does the water, do, uh, not water, the Windex does not go into uh, the stem nearly as easily as it goes into the, like the actual Q-tip bit. There we go. It's getting much more cleaner. Man, I love this stuff. Cannot wait to see this thing working. This will be my first vacuum tube camera when it's like working. Um, I've never owned a vacuum tube camera before. Probably use like a Viticon or a Nubicon or whatever one of those tubes, whatever. Um, pure fascinating. Put that back on, make sure it's straight. Probably should mess with these switches too. Oh, when I uh, first plug this camera in, uh, I should really uh, make sure there's no tape in the VCR because I don't know how this play standby switch works. Uh, so I don't know if it'll just start recording and overwriting my tape if I have the recordable tape in there. So yeah, I'll have to figure out about that. I don't know quite how that works. I don't quite understand it. Iris probably does stuff with the iris makes sense uh, I'm not sure if this tilts tints the image or what it does but 
Oh, something. And then this is like different lighting types. I'm not sure what I would set this to. Um, because, you know, I'm, not, I'm probably going to be mostly filming in my room, which I only have cool white LED lights in there, which I don't think at all existed when this thing was made, so who knows how it'll react. Probably won't work right if I put it on the regular lighting settings. I was probably expecting, like, incandescent, which <sighs> I don't have, like, any of in my room, so. I don't like the fact that incandescent lights slowly yellow your electronics over time. So, I don't have any in my room. Oh man, this thing is something. Let's see, I'll work on very carefully cleaning the top now that I know how a somewhat good way to do that is. Um, very gently with a Q-tip with Windex on it, not ice purple. Don't use the ice purple, it will come back to bite you, and it will be bad. It will not be a pretty sight. Uh. Yeah, that tape residue is not really coming off. I'm rubbing this gently, so... Oh, well, all this is still real dirty, though, so I can give it a nice clean. this thing. I absolutely love the concept of vacuum tubes, uh, and I've only really had experience with CRTs, and that's the only kind of vacuum tube I've ever had experience with, uh, but now I own, I'm not sure quite what kind of tube this thing uses. I'm guessing a Viticon or possibly a Nuvicon if this thing's new enough, but I'm not sure if it is. <coughs> um, so yeah, basically the opposite of a CRT. It's Freaking fascinating. Not quite sure how it works, but it is fascinating to me. That something like a vacuum tube could produce a video picture. Nice and gross there. <laughs> I hope it doesn't start raining. The clouds are looking awfully foreboding. Hmm. I might have to end this video abruptly, although I am thinking I am almost done working on cleaning this, because it's, uh, like, there's not much I can still clean, um, not much I can still clean that, uh, I can clean at the moment, because, uh, because this is, has a lot of, like, old tape residue on it, uh, and I'm not sure if I can really get that off. I don't think I can really get it off, so. At least I can't get it off without getting the paint on this thing off as well, which I do not want to do, so that probably won't end up coming off. What I can get all the residue off of, though, is I can try to get all the gross, um, all the gross, um, tape residue off this sticker. I guess it was the isopropyl alcohol that was doing that so easily. So, get some of that on here and get the rest off that tape. There we go. <sighs> mm. 
The birds are responding to uh, the squeakiness of this. Now, if the residue gets closer and closer to where the tape residue is on the, or where the paint residue, oh goodness. Yeah, it is about to rain. Okay, I'm head inside. <laughs> we did good with cleaning the camcorder. For now, it's going inside because it's starting to rain. Just got a raindrop on my hand. Put that there. I will continue this video in a bit, probably in my room. I'll make some room and do that in there. Yeah, it's starting to rain. I'll upload this and then, uh, yeah. <laughs> I'll, uh, show all the carnage or whatever after.